Tomatoes are one of the most popular vegetables to grow from seed. I love growing them and I'm getting mine started today. So we're six weeks before the last frost date in our area and the tomatoes tell me six to eight weeks before last frost, but I'm going with six weeks because I don't want to keep them inside too long. I find that if you can time it so the plants are smaller and healthier when they go out, they're a lot better, they're a lot hardier. So we've got some soil blocks here to plant and then I've got some tomatoes that I did start a couple of weeks ago and I'm gonna pot those up today. So there's a lot of different kinds of tomatoes. It's one of the most exciting things when you're looking through the seed catalogs to be choosing. Uh, you can pick by all different kinds of colors, by different kinds of sizes and shapes. So every year I grow a few different kinds of tomatoes. I'm still trying to hit on the perfect varieties for our garden. For a few years, I was getting really excited about all of the different like colorful tomatoes and like a multicolor tomato salad is a really beautiful thing. I'm gonna favor tomatoes that are more sort of robust and uh, more prolific over ones that are pretty. So there's two different types of tomatoes that I grow, indeterminate and determinate. So the indeterminate tomatoes are the vining tomatoes. So those can be pruned and vined up a string and we grow those in our greenhouse. This year, I'm gonna grow three different kinds. So I've got some Sylvanas Gold cherry tomatoes. So these are a version of a gold cherry tomato that I can save the seeds from. And Sylvanas is a farm that's up on the Wallace Shore near us. So similar uh, weather conditions. I really like growing things from uh, places like Annapolis Seed because these guys grow out all their own seeds themselves or on farms around them. So these were all seeds that were grown in the Maritimes. And then I've got two different kinds of bigger slicer or uh, beefsteak tomatoes. One is the Costoludo Genovese. So these are the big wrinkly red uh, sort of Italian style tomatoes. Uh, I'm excited to grow these. And then the other one is a Moscovich tomato. So this is super hardy variety, thrives through drought and cold, great fresh or for sauce. So I was just looking for something that I can get a good quantity of tomatoes of that we can just do all kinds of things with. And then I've got a couple of different kinds of determinate tomatoes as well. So these are tomatoes that are more like a bush habit. I'm gonna grow these in containers and in raised beds. A Scotia tomato, uh, heirloom tomato variety that's been around forever. It's known as being pretty early. So these are the ones that I actually planted. So I'm gonna plant into these two and a half inch soil blocks. So these I just made with uh, just like a pro mix potting soil and they're here in this nice tray. So they've got little divots in the top and I'm just gonna plant tomato seeds into each of these. So I'll do 12 of each of these. So tomato seeds are very easy to plant. You don't have to soak them. You don't have to stratify them. You don't have to do anything special. Uh, they just will germinate really pretty easily within about a week. I'm gonna just shake some of these out. And because these are new seeds that I bought this year, I'm just gonna plant one in each of these holes. If I had seeds that were a couple of years old, like I did with the Scotias, I planted two seeds in each. So tomato seeds don't need any light to germinate. So I'm just dropping them in this hole. This hole is about a little bit less than half an inch deep. And I am going to cover them a little bit so they'll anchor down better into the soil. As well, there's no like top or bottom to a tomato seed. You can just lay it on the bottom and it'll go from there. So I'm just gently putting a little bit of soil in here. And I don't even want to like fill it up and pack it down. I just want to like cover it up with a sprinkling so it's hiding in there. And also I know that I planted seeds in these 12. So here we are in the grow room. So I'm just going to put this plastic dome over the tomato seed blocks that I planted. I find it does help uh, them germinate sooner. It keeps the humidity in and the moisture and then it also keeps them a little bit warmer. So I'm going to put these up top and I'm going to check them every couple of days because as soon as they germinate you want to put them under lights or they're going to get too tall and leggy. You always hear about tomato seedlings being leggy and what that means is that they're, they're stretching for the sun, they're stretching for the light and that it's stressful. So they're spending more energy growing stems to try and get their leaves towards the light so they can photosynthesize instead of bushing out 
and growing leaves and then growing flowers and fruit, which is what you want them to do. So the other thing I'm going to do is pot up these tomato plants. So in a couple of weeks, those ones are going to look like this. So you can see these plants have these leaves, which are their cotyledons. These are their first true leaves, and then they're just getting their second true leaves. So uh, these are the Scotia tomatoes, and I feel pretty good about how healthy they look. They're not too tall. Um, you can see there's roots growing around here, but they're not like root bound. So this is a pretty good little healthy tomato plant. It smells like a tomato plant. It's really, really quite beautiful. So I have these three and a half inch pots, and what I'm gonna do is just place it into here. And one thing that makes tomato plants super great to grow is that you can bury the stem and it will produce roots along the stem. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to put soil all the way up to the edge of this pot. And I'm going to try and bury it as deep as the first set of cotyledons here. I'm going to keep doing this. So actually I need less soil than I thought because I'm going to put these a little bit deeper. And so I watered these quite well before I uh, started to do this. And I also moistened the soil quite a lot. So by soil, I just mean potting soil. I'm just using a promix. So here I have one where there's two that are growing. Um, these both look like they're in pretty good shape. So I'm going to see if I can just gently separate them. That doesn't have a lot of roots on it. I think I'm just going to give up. I always grow too many tomatoes, whereas this one, this looks great. Let's see if we have another one. Here's another one with two. And if I just sort of like push these out of the way. Oh yeah, this one I got two out of. And this looks like it's got a good amount of roots. So you're just going to do this for all of your tomato seedlings. These three and a half inch pots are going to let them get pretty big, I'd say to like the four or five leaf stage. Um, you want to keep an eye on them. And if you feel like they're not looking happy, then you might want to pot them up again. And what do I mean by looking unhappy? That is when the leaves start to curl, the leaves change a color and are something other than green. Um, these are all indications that your plants uh, are in need of something that they're not getting. So what I would say in that case is make sure you're not watering too much, make sure you're not watering too little, uh, make sure they're fertilized. So the soil that I'm putting this in has a little bit of fertilizer in it, but not much. So after probably a week, I'm just going to water them with a half strength fertilizer just to make sure that they are getting all the nutrients that they need. And then now that I've got these seeds potted up, what I'm going to do is just water them. So I use this little manual waterer that I got from uh, Lee Valley, a Canadian company that sells really good quality garden tools, but but you could use any kind of mister or sprayer. So what I'm doing right now is just misting them on top. So that's just going to allow the soil to sort of compress around the roots. It's going to get rid of any air pockets that I formed when I did this. Um, and it's going to make sure that there's lots of water there for them to grow. So these look a little bit droopy right now, but they're going to prick up really as soon as they go. That's one of the reasons that tomatoes are so popular to grow from seed is that they don't mind being transplanted like this. And then the tomatoes that I just potted up, I'm also going to put under lights. So here I've got some lights that are at a pretty good height for these plants. Um, one thing you could do is just put another tray upside down underneath these if you wanted them to be a little bit taller, but I think they're going to be okay. There is also two racks of lights here, so the light intensity is going to be pretty good, as well this is a south-facing window, so we do end up with some light coming through. So these guys should be good. I'm excited to watch them uh, perk up and get a little bit bigger and stronger in the next couple weeks before they go outside. I mean, even just the smell of the tomato seedlings, it makes me remember eating tomatoes out of the greenhouse in the summer. Growing tomatoes is a really special process and it's one of the most popular vegetables to grow for a lot of good reasons.